Hey guys, let's automate some games. So today we'll be taking a look at Magic Tiles 3. The objective of this game is to stop the tile at the white line. In order for us to get the best possible score, we're going to need to stop the body of the tile at the white line and a click outside the body will result in a loss. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can approach this problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a continuous screenshot of a selected area. Now the reason we're using this tiny strip rather than the whole screen is because this is a reaction based game and we need the bot operating as quick as possible. The next thing that we'll go ahead and do is we'll check the pixel color at two points within the column. If these two pixel points are equal to black, the bot will go ahead and initiate a click. Now the reason we're using two pixel points versus one is that there's a chance that the bot would check the pixel at the end of a tile. The tile might move before the click is initiated causing a loss. After that, it's pretty simple. We'll go ahead and loop through each column, checking for the conditions above. And if the bot's able to maintain a three crown score on any given level, we'll go ahead and count that as a win. So let's go ahead and let's just jump into the code. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna import two libraries that we're gonna be using for this bot. The first one is gonna be called Pi Input and is used for controlling and listening to the mouse. The second library that we'll be using is called MMS, which is what we'll be using to take screenshots and also for some image processing. But before we can go ahead and start building the bot, we're going to have to create a tool to gather coordinate data. We'll do this by simply modifying a built-in function in the Pi input library called onclick. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to modify it so it goes ahead and prints out the coordinates of the cursor when the left mouse button is clicked. All right, uh, next we're gonna go ahead and have the bot listen for the click by using another pi input function called listener. And now that that's set up, we can go ahead and we'll go ahead and start the tool. To get all the data that we need, we're going to get two clicks or two coordinates. The first one's going to be the upper left area that we'll be taking the screenshot. And the second coordinate will be the bottom right of that box that's getting the screenshot. All right, and that should do it. Let's get rid of this line of code. And we can also just comment out this listener code. Uh, we'll no longer be using it. Then we can define our tile bot. And the first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be setting the X and Y variables obtained from the first click. So it's going to be 1398 and 582. How the screenshot works is that relative to these positions we need to know how many pixels to the right and how many pixels down that the screenshot needs to be so we'll do some simple math we're starting with the uh, x and y coordinates uh, let's go ahead and do the x first so we're going to do 1847 minus 1398 that's going to give us four four and nine and we'll do the same thing with the Y axis. Uh, we'll go ahead and subtract from the starting point 691 minus 582. It's going to give us 109. So the next thing that we're going to have to calculate is the middle of each column. I uh, will go ahead and do that by taking um, the value we obtained before the 449 we'll divide that by 4 it's going to give us 112 let's round that up to 113 and then if we divide this again by 2 that'll give us the middle of the first column 
Now keep that 113 in mind because we can just go ahead and add this to 57 to get the second column. And to get the middle of the third column again, we're just going to add 113. And for the final column, again, 113 to 283 going to give us 396 all right perfect so that should give us the middle of each column and the last two variables that we'll set up uh, the first one is the mouse as defined by the controller function in pi input and the second one will be the screenshot function uh, some of these might look a bit strange but I'll link the documentation to these libraries below so you can just see how to set them up So we'll be grabbing a portion of the screen as defined by our screenshot variable and set that to IMG. Next we'll loop through the middle of each column and check if both pixels are equal to black. We can do this by creating an if statement and calling the pixel function which takes an x and y coordinate as inputs. For the first y we will use 0 as a input and then we'll compare the red RGB value to zero, which would be black. And then we can go ahead and set up the second pixel. This one will use an offset of 14 for the Y value. This is just a number that worked well for me after some trial and error. And once again, we'll go ahead and compare this to zero as well. Now if both of these conditions evaluate to true, we'll use the position function and have the mouse cursor move to the location of a tile. And then we'll have the mouse click by using the click function. We'll make it click the left mouse button a total of one time. And then just so we have some visual output, we'll go ahead and print a click statement so we can see that our program is running. All right, now let's just create a while loop. So this bot continues to run. Now we can go ahead and execute the bot. Looks like I got a spelling error. Let me just fix that real quick. All right, so it clicked. All right, so the bot seems to be working. I'll just go ahead and fast forward it uh, 20x speed. And we'll see how long the bot can run before it breaks down. So it looks like our bot has already achieved the three crown level. So it does look like it's successful. We'll see how much longer it can continue to go. Uh, now I just went ahead and slowed down the bot. Uh, this is real game time. And you can see the bot executing its functions. And I believe it will start breaking down pretty soon and you can watch that happen. All right, and that about wraps it up. Looking back at the code, there are a few improvements that could have been made. 
The hold and press tiles only get a single click. I feel like this could be fixed by including uh, multi-processing and having each column monitored. And then when the condition of the tile or the hold and press tile are met, it initiate that action. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like to see next, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.